my students, if AC equals X, they're amazing. B equals two X and B. When you have those kids that say to you, I don't like math, I hate math, I've never done well in math, and then even if it's a week later or a month later, having kids come up to you and being like, I love this class, I can do this, it's an awesome feeling. Negative. Every kid's gonna do problems so, on the board. You divide, of course, and you get negative 20. Nicely <laughs> done. Nicely done, Rashida. It's a matter of just getting the kids comfortable and having them be comfortable to get something wrong and be comfortable to ask questions. And once they kind of set aside their fears and they're not scared of being wrong, of being up on the board and doing a problem and making a mistake, and once they're comfortable doing math, I think they can push the fears aside and just focus on the learning. I loved competing and I played sports my whole life. And so I try to bring competition into the classroom. So you guys feel really strongly that you're gonna be the winner. <laughs> and that you're right. I try to get the kids out of their, their seats as much as I can. Does anyone over there wanna argue why you are definitely right? In my earlier days of teaching, I think it made me nervous to have, you know, 30, 15 year olds running around a room, but it's kind of organized chaos. <laughs> All right, Lynette, tell them why they're wrong. Because they didn't ask you. Feel really Once the strong. kids know each other and they know me and they kind of know how the room works, it's good. I mean, they get up, they get around, but they're not out of their seats for very long. <laughs> yeah. All right, jump back to your seats. There's always the hurdle of like everybody's in different places, and so you kind of are teaching geometry and some kids totally have all their algebra skills and others don't have it. So the biggest challenge is getting the new content across while still reinforcing some of the old content. A lot of math is problem solving and just thinking through a problem, thinking about what you're given, thinking about what you're trying to find, thinking about the process to get through it. So you're right, you may never use this theorem again, but you're gonna have problems and you're gonna have situations where you have to think through a problem and think about the pieces of information you're given and kind of work through it. Math teaches you how to problem solve and that will never go away.